Am I good to begin? There you go. Yep. Awesome. Go ahead. <laughs> awesome. Hi, guys. I'm Dana Fontaine. I'm the high school librarian at Fremont High School. And um, I love children's literature. And I've read over 113 books this year. And so reading is really my passion. So um, the first book that I'm going to talk about right now is Sulwe by Lupita Nyong'o. And Sulwe is about a girl who is really self-conscious about her skin color. And um, OK, so she's really self-conscious about her skin color. and. Her parents are really light-skinned, and so is her sister. And so this kind of takes her through a journey, like a self-discovery, and when she compares Sulwe to the beauty of the night sky, night sky. So she is like having some really like self-doubt type of things. And so, um, and so it's really. Like she's really just really self-conscious. And Lupita Nyong'o actually goes into it a little bit more in these two videos. And I shared um, I shared the link with this on the handout. So if you want this presentation, it's on the QR code on this handout. So and I love this book and I've talked about it in the last couple of presentations I've given because it is just so good. And the illustrations are amazing. And the writing is spectacular and so She's kind of like a jack of all trades, Lupita Nyong'o is, and she also talks about why diverse books matter. And so every book in this presentation is a little bit diverse in some way. Okay, so this is my this is my this is my all time favorite book on this list, Lift by Min Lee and Dan Santac. So it's a really whimsical tale about imagination. It's kind of written with like gutters and things like that because it's kind of written in color book form, but not really. So um, it's about a little girl who always gets to hit the elevator bu elevator button first. It's like the simple pleasure in life. That is her job. That is what she does, okay? Um, one day her baby brother hits the button and everything breaks loose. And so everything is just destroyed and she's really distraught and she wants to go on an adventure her on her, by herself. However, um, she she then notices that it's much more it's much more fun to have somebody with you joining you on your adventures. And so she eventually asks her baby brother to come along. And so I love Dan Santa. Like everything he writes, I think he touches and it turns to gold because I really, I really love his stuff. And he's written a lot of stuff lately. Um, All are welcome. And this is the realistic and sometimes idealistic tale about a class that is welcomed with open arms. It's diverse and wonderful and all students are welcomed and it makes your heart all fuzzy when you read it. It's a perfect, um, it's a perfect opener to your school year. It's a perfect opener to any library program. You can really read it for any class, any grade level. It's wonderful. All right, Jasper and Ollie Build a Fort by Alex Wynan. I I love this book too because who doesn't like building forts? I read this to my um, life skills class, and they talked about forts like probably for the next hour. So Jasper and Ollie are opposites. Jasper is fast and builds a dream fort quick. But Ollie takes a bit more time in building his, and they end up hanging out in Ollie's fort because they just need somewhere to go that they can share. And so it turns out that Ollie's fort is very, like, it's very well put together. He takes his time on it, and he stops to think it out. And it's kind of, kind of a modern day tortoise in here because slow and steady wins the race in this book. And I, I've been waiting for this book forever. So this came out in the middle of summer. We will rock our class base by Ryan T. Higgins. And who has read um, We Will Not Eat Our Classmates by Penelope, or by Ryan T. Higgins about Penelope? This is, this is the second book in the series. It's just as cute, if not cuter, than, the, than that book. So I absolutely love this series. Penelope is so sweet, and she's back to her antics, 
in the Penelope series. Penelope has a secret. She loves to play guitar. And she is going to share that at the school talent show. But will people accept her for who she really is? Or will she um, will she let the butterflies escape out of her stomach? And will she be able to play guitar really well? Oh, <laughs> my granddaughter's Penelope in kindergarten. I've read it one million times. Yes, yeah. I love the Penelope book. I hope he writes a whole like 50 million more books because I really love it. It's such a cute series. Reading Beauty. And this book rocks. It's a Sleeping Beauty retelling, but it's about books. And it's, it's actually good for older grades because um, it's, it's good for older grades because um, the protagonist in the story is 15 years old. And so it's kind of unique to have a 15 year old as the protagonist in a picture book plus. If you can see this, the cover is shiny and sparkly, and so I absolutely love that. So um, Reading Beauty is a retelling. It's diverse. Um, it can be read for your upper elementary, middle school, and high school classes. It's about this girl who likes to read, and this fairy that came to her birthday party says, you will go to sleep once you give a paper cut in a book. And that all of the books you have ever loved will go away. And so it's, it's very creative and it's kind of a unique storytelling because, or a, a unique retelling because it takes place in space and Sleeping Beauty is a space princess. So it's, I usually am not a fan of retellings because I'm like, just write something original, but this is pretty original and a retelling. Okay, The Magical Yet by Angela DiTerlisi. And this is um, Tony DiTerlisi's wife who wrote the Spider, Spider Whip Chronicles. And so this, and this, and she's a wonderful author. Um, it's a beautiful book about learning and the magic of yet. So you might not have mastered something yet. It's all about like growth mindset and the yet is a magical thing that hangs around until you master the thing and it assists you and changes color whenever a task is mastered and so it's a and the yet kind of grows with you and the yet actually stays with you from when you're a baby until you're all grown up and so this is also a great book about growing and having an imagination and a, a really good attitude about learning things your name is a song by jamila tom tomkins bigelow is probably like one of my favorites, I think all of these are my favorites, so I should probably stop saying that. But I absolutely love this book because names are really important to me and names are really important to our students and our patrons. And so Your Name is a Song is really important to me because um, when I was a child, sometimes my name was mispronounced. And there are lots of unique names out there and it's really important to learn them and how they are correctly pronounced. So this little girl in the story does not want to go back to school because her teacher is having a really hard name pronouncing her, a really hard time pronouncing her name. And so it, it, it kind of like pulls at your heartstrings because her mom teaches her like, well, just teach her, teach her to say your name as a song. And then the teacher comes back with names or not songs and so there's kind of a battle back and forth but then in the end she even turns bob into a name and it's really it's really cute so um it okay so have you ever had trouble pronouncing a student's or patron's name this expresses how important it is to pronounce it correctly and how names are each beautiful in their own right Okay, You Matter by Christian Anderson. This is an awesome book about how even when things get rough and tough, you matter. And it's a great read aloud book for all ages. And this, and I like this book because who doesn't like Parachute Day? Who doesn't like Parachute Day in PE when they were little? And so I really love this book because it goes like from the beginning of time, like through the Big Bang, and then at the end when humans and kids are playing, like humans and um, animals are like playing together. So it's a really cute book and it's really simple and it's great for those younger readers. 
And then I promised by LeBron James and I thought, oh, you know, LeBron James, he might just be doing this for the money, but this book is legit. So it's a rhyming book about promises and pledging to do the right thing and trying to be a successful human being. In the back of the book are the promises that each student makes every day at the school to be successful. And if you didn't know, LeBron James has actually started a school in Akron, Ohio. And they were the kids that were at most at risk, risk for dropping out. And so he went and made the school and the kids' test scores are soaring. And he makes them commit every day to these promises. And so he makes them say this every day. I promise to go to school. I promise to do all of my homework. I promise to listen to my teachers because they will help me learn. I promise to ask questions and find answers, to never give up no matter what. I promise to always try my best. I promise to be helpful and respectful to others. And I promise to live a healthy life by eating right and being active. I promise to make good choices for myself, to have fun, and above all else, to finish school. And it's strive for greatness. And it's just and it's just such a good book because it just goes through the city and it goes through the school day and it's just a really heartwarming read. And the, and LeBron James is doing great things with that school as well. Okay, so, I, and here's two videos. If you want to uh, do like a deep dive into the school, here's the opening of the school. And um, and he takes them, he takes um, people on an exclusive tour of the school. So it's really nice. And here are my honorable mentions. These are books that I'm kind of past my 10 minutes, but these, Super deserves some honorable mentions. So Bunheads is coming out at the end of September, and anything by Misty Copeland is great. So she is seriously a wonderful writer. Like she, if you watch any videos about her, or if you watch any like Zoom meetings about her, she loves <clears throat> she loves to write. In fact, she liked to write before she even liked before she even liked to dance. And so Misty Copeland is the founder of um, Brown Ballerinas and that hashtag and she's on social media a lot and she's just such a good writer. And Firebird is beautiful and I'm excited to read Bunhead and that comes out at the end of the month. So um, she's just very humble and very thankful for where she's, where dance has taken her in her life. And then Connie Schofield Morrison is a, has wonderful spirited books about living your best life. And these are simple read alouds. I got the school spirit and I got the rhythm. Um, it's a nameless little girl and she just is so happy and she's just really spunky and she is really excited to go to school. And she kind of, and she's a strong person. She goes and like comforts her friends. <coughs> Excuse me. She goes and comforts her friends when she, um, when her friends are sad about going back to school and she just kind of dances her way through life. And I think everyone needs to dance their way through life. I love it. All right. And then that was my 10 to 15 minutes. Sorry, I went a, bit, a little bit over. So um, you can find me at Library Tigers or at my email right here. Actually, anybody... I think you're right on time. It says 2.14 by my clock, so. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Yeah, Does well... anybody have any questions for me <laughs> if anybody has any questions or comments or other books to share there were some comments yeah. in the chat about saying great books that they like some of your books some of the ones you did mention yeah yeah so yeah share your favorite books what books have you read this year that you absolutely loved that your students loved Uh, Tammy says, my granddaughter is Penelope in kindergarten. I've read it a million times. <laughs> That's how it goes. I love yes. the book. Yeah. Does anybody have any other suggestions, even books, like within the, within the past year or two? I know for most of the year we've been closed, but, oh, do not go in there. By Ariel Warren. Oh, Tiger versus Nightmare. Yes, I love that one. Oh, Dragons of Tacos, and their second one out, Dragons of Tacos 2. Ooh, The Extraordinary Ordinary Ella. Awesome. I'm going to write that down. I haven't read that one yet. This Way, Charlie. 
And what's that one about, Angela? Okay. All are oh yay. All are welcome. Can you Amy, can you explain what that is? How you did that with the story walk? Oh, about a cool. About a okay, so this way Charlie is about a grumpy goat befriending a blind horse. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Oh, um, I like books that kind of hit you in those heartstrings that kind of pull on them that make you cry. Oh, the night dragon. Cool. All right. Does anybody else have any questions? Oh, I love Deborah Underwood. Cool. Mm -hmm. Wherever I go, is that a family in a refugee camp? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for letting me present today. And if you have any questions or other suggestions, I'm always open to other suggestions. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Um, do, 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 do.